Hello again, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a new series. Um, these are basically some collections and stash that I decided that might work well together and I just pulled a whole bunch of stuff and on Wednesdays I will be posting two videos. This is video one of two of layouts that I create using the stash. I decided on two videos because after I got done with it, well it's huge. So I'm just going to go through and show you what I have. Now this is a partially used Simple Stories Hello Summer collection kit. So I'm definitely hoping to be able to use this up. These are the, this is, it has one 4x6 photo, photo, one 4x6 card cut out of it. These are the last remaining 12x12. 12 12. I did use this and made a couple collections out of it. So that's it. That's all I have left of that kit. Here are the scraps that I have left. So there's quite a few big ones, you know, some pieces and stuff. And after I get done using this, if any of these are left or small, I will just be throwing them in my recycling bin. This is what I have left of the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. As you can see, I have used a lot of it. And the, this is all the die cuts that I had stuck in that kit as well. I do not believe they all go with it. These are all flowers that I fussy cut out from a 12 by 12 sheet, so I will be using those. Yeah, just some stickers that I've just tried to like, you know, I got some puffy stickers in there and some die kit, tie cuts. Words are hard for me this morning. I'm sorry, guys. Some frames, there's some birthday stuff in there, not real sure. I did, unless I pull those out and if I have any birthday, feminine birthday pictures to do, I will add those in. If not, it will just go back into my birthday bin. I'm gonna pull out over, I'm gonna pull out over, what was that? And I'm gonna pull over the second collection kit that I have chosen to use. Maybe, maybe I'm not. Yep, there I am. Okay, so this is Echo Park Best Summer Ever. I just received this, um, or I just bought this. So here are the, I've not touched it yet. So here are all the 12 by 12 patterns. This is adorable. I love the water balloons. You can't go wrong with some flamingos. Beautiful plaid perk there. I think that's more of a gigab. I'm gonna have a hard time using that paper, but I will use it in small increments. A cut apart sheet with some wonderful die cuts that you can cut out, but I won't because I love this side of the paper. I also love these flowers. I can see myself fussy, fussy cutting those out. A whole bunch of food trucks. Beautiful wonky stripe. Popsicles galore. small increments but I will use that as a background I love all the words and some ice cream cones this is a border strip cut apart and the color is so vibrant it's just beautiful and they even have purple in this kit which is something that I love and there's the 12 by 12 sticker sheet so that is I'm gonna have so much fun with that kit and then the third and final kit that I am throwing into the mix is the Simple Stories Sunshine Days and Blue Skies or something. I'm, I can't read that. I'm real sorry. That was the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. And this has not been touched as well. I just got this as well. And here are all the 12 by 12 sheets. The pattern papers that have like lots of different shapes and stuff all thrown in there like confetti I like that I love this flower print it's got like a wood green background that has a smaller flower print some more die cuts a whole bunch of flip flops I'm trying to see if there's gonna be another one of those 12 by 12 papers beautiful flower print this one just says summer in a rainbow effect 
And I cannot wait to use that paper. See, love it. <laughs> Palm Springs. More florals. I love the florals. The ones that just I just there was not another piece of pattern paper where it has all the shapes just kind of thrown in there like confetti. I find those hard to use. I do have the chipboard sheet. Those empty spots are things that had fallen out on the back. This is also for that same collection kit. There is the ephemera pack that I have. And then I'm just gonna go through and show you all of the fun embellishments that I chose. I am going to go ahead and use this paper pack, which I believe is what a lot of the birthday stuff came from. I'm going to try to incorporate some of these crosses, the travel wanderlust. And it's, those are just fun, very dimensional. This one I go ahead and actually take out because I have camping and outdoors and hiking collections and I'm going to throw that one in. So it does not make it couple more tags, a little happy birthday sticker sheet. I have a couple of these chipboards left, and then this is a Jen Hatfield, which I still have a lot left on that chipboard sheet. And that is it. Oh, no. I did pull out some of these uh, paper clips and enamel shapes and just all kinds of fun things that are from my embellishment cabinet. The colors seem to match, so I'm going to go with it. We've got some metal enamel pieces, some bronze enamel pieces. These are beautiful ice cream cones. This one says Mommy. There's the palm tree and a bike that looks like it is broken, so I'm going to tuck that in somewhere. This is the washi tape that I pulled to use. I do have this this bin here. There's two of them that I keep my summer die cuts in. So they, I'm just going to kind of roughly show you. Um, I've been, I made page kits using these. So they were both jam packed full until I made the page kits. So this is kind of the leftovers. And I just throw them in there. And as I'm getting ready to make a layout, I will pull out things that I want to use. I have had this since 2011. I had a city go by desk to be using the entire butt log. July product focus is wood veneers, so that's my wood veneer kit. And also my brads. Go ahead and give me a like if you like the video. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.